Fighter, Blaze here, and this is another devlog of my space shooter project. The game is growing, you can see how it looks right now, and take a good look because after this video it should change beyond recognition. I wondered for a long time if I should create video describing one or two weeks and thought I prefer video from one week, I need to make this one double long because of amount of content. And no, it doesn't mean that I didn't work with game this week, but there are really no many changes. Furthermore, I decided to not split this week day by day. I just will sum up entire week in tasks which I don't. You can also let me know which format is better for you. Hit the like button and subscribe, we are going to 100 to unlock special video. Ready? So let's back to project. Refactor from previous video was good, but not too good, so almost every day of this week I spent on making small changes in some parts of code and ended up with little more intuitive code because of unit test system which I implemented. System which I created checks every class I defined in test case for serialized fields and then checks these fields if they are assigned. You can tell me, hey, you can do the same with onValidate. Yes, but there are some problems with this. If I have a prefab which cannot have reference earlier than after putting in on scene and if prefab is just a base for another variance. I designed this unit test for omitting all objects with abstract label, so for now I just need to put class I want to check in test case, set labels and I can check all serialized fields using single button. Also, almost every day of the week I spend on drawing tileset for earth location. I ended with 72 tiles in 4 different styles, grass, sand, water and hill. Every style has at least one tile field and 8 connectors to another where 4 are simple and 4 are for corners. I also started drawing props for this location, but I hold this because of end of week and plans for another milestone. Everyone welcome on Monday. Today, after many attempts, I finally designed system for generating tile map in my game. I want to do this row by row. Every tile will have a set of tiles which can be placed above it and also a set for this which can be placed next to it, on the right side. This should be simple in maintenance and not too hard with implementation. Much easier than having many references between objects. Every tile also need to have a scriptable object equivalent and this hurts me the most because it will just generate 72 new assets. Hope I will come up with something better by night. Today it's Tuesday, at the morning I imported background textures into project and started to implementing custom inspector for tiles defining scriptable object. This is because I need to set references to another object with information that they can or cannot be placed next to or on the top of specified tile. Idea is simple, I just list all textures and place two checkbox right next to them, one for top reference and second for right reference. I think that this editor script will speed up my work, because setting differences in typical lists would take me hours. Wednesday was the day when I set relations between tiles using my custom inspector. In this moment I watched out that I need to make some improvements on it, because it's surely more comfortable to use than setting assets manually on list, but with so many tiles I just sometimes forgot to check some relations or check it badly because I don't see any visualization on relation. I mean... I probably don't know how to describe this, but I have an idea for that and I will fix this tomorrow, so good night for now. Hello, welcome on Thursday. Let me show you how current custom inspector looks. I added one button to display helpers and now it's much more easier to see if I should check or know some relations. I added this as an option, because with that inspector height is much more longer and I want to have compact this for fast changes also available. But this is not the main thing which I wanna show you. More important thing is that I almost finished basic tile generator, so when the mission begins, new map is created. Sometimes there is an exception thrown, because I have only 11 tiles defined and some of them just don't have any possible tile. I will add more in the future. 
thinking about the generator take me some time, because I don't have idea how to implement it. I wanted to make something simple, so finally I get this. At the beginning I get random tile for left bottom corner, next I get random right neighbor for it, and more and more until I get to the end of the line. Then I get random top neighbor for first tile, which starts second line, and this is where more complex stuff is coming, because for next neighbors I need to intersect the right neighbor set of previous tile and top neighbor set of tile below. I'm doing this also to the end of the line. At the end I just repeat last line generator for as many as I want. This is how it works and that's all for today, see you tomorrow. Friday was the day of refactor. I do a little cleanup in project and record no footage, so let's jump to Saturday. I spent this day on setting relations for most of tile defines. I set a half of them and it took me about 3 hours, so I a little bit scared how long it will take me to implement second half of them, because number of relations between them will fastly grow. There is no denying that my custom inspector was super useful in this relation setting, because I just check corresponding checkbox without setting list manually. This seriously saved my time and I recommend you to create own inspector whenever you feel that this can speed up your work. And this is the final result recorded from my iPhone. As you can see background is generated and it also don't have much impact on performance. Game looks really smooth. I really like the effect, but there is also a thing that I want to improve in maybe next week. I want to add weighted randomization to generator, because for now it often spawns something like small islands, but when I add weight it should spawn bigger parts of terrain. It's all for today, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to stay tuned with next devlog. See you soon, bye!